For today's lesson, our focus standard comes from grade 7, Ratios and Proportional Relationships, Standard 3. Use proportional relationships to solve multi-step ratio and percent problems. Our topic continues to be from proportional relationships, multi-step percent problems. Our essential question is, how can we use the percent triangle to help us solve multi-step problems involving percentages? Please take a moment, pausing the video if you need to, to copy down the topic and the essential question in your header along with today's date, set your question column and your note column, and resume the video when you're ready to begin. So this is the percent triangle which we reviewed in our last video lesson. And percent problems are often taken in the context of retail, so in stores and price markets, things like that. So these are some words I want you to be aware of. Please make sure that you're copying all this down into your notes. So things like increase are going to tell us that we're taking an additional or ad adding information on. They also use words like markup and markup rate to talk about increases. If they just mention markup, then they want the exact dollar amount that the price went up. If they add rate and say markup rate, then they want the percent. That is similar with decrease when we are subtracting an amount and they might ask for the markdown or the markdown rate. So when you have this information copied into the top of your notes, go ahead and resume when you're ready to begin our first problem. Charlie Sports sells sports gear. They buy shoes directly from the manufacturers at wholesale prices and mark the cost mark up the cost to their customers by 35% to make a profit. If Charlie Sports paid $79 for a pair of shoes, how much will their customers have to pay to buy the shoes? So this is a very common thing in businesses, so any business out there is oftentimes buying their product directly from the manufacturer, meaning the person who makes it. That price is considered the wholesale price. Those businesses wouldn't make any money if they just turned around and sold that to their customers for that exact same price. It is by marking up what they pay to their customers. So we first are being asked, we're going to do this in a few steps, right? This is a multi-step problem. So first, from the word problem, we want to identify what is the markup rate. Well, up here in our vocabulary, markup rate is just the percent that the price went up. So what's the percent that Charlie Sports is increasing the amount they make their customers pay? Well, right here it tells us that they mark up the cost by 35%. So 35% is the markup rate. And that kind of matches with what we have here. So now we're going to use that information to figure out what is the price to answer the question and figure out what is the price to buy the shoes from Charlie Sports. What do their customers have to pay? So I have our triangle here and let's see if we can work our way through it. So the wholesale amount is going to be the whole section here, right, of that 100%. What is the total? So right now that is going to be the $79 that Charlie Sports pays. Right? And they tell us that right here. So that's our where we're gonna what we're gonna put in that whole section. And we are given the percent, right? Because we have the markup rate, which is the percent. So it's the 35% markup, right? So we had said that that is an addition to. So it's a hundred percent of um what Charlie Sports plays pays plus 35% additional, right? A mark up. So that is a total of 135%. That's what the customer is going to pay. 135% of what Charlie Sports pays originally. And so we have that right here. It's the whole sale, which is our whole amount, times, right? Because that's what our triangle tells us to do. The 100%, or in the decimal form, one whole, plus the markup rate, which again is for us, 
that 35% in its decimal form. So 135 or in the decimal form, 1 and 35 hundredths. So from there, can you fill in the next line of how we're going to calculate this using our numbers and our triangle to figure that out? Exactly. We're just following what we've already set up. The wholesale amount that Charlie Sports pays is $79 times the 1 and 35 hundredths. The, hundred, the customer is going to pay 100% of the 79% plus the 35% markup for a total of 135% or 1.35 as a decimal of what Charlie Sports originally paid. So now all we have to do is do this calculation. In doing so, we just take 79 times 1.35 and we get our answer, $106.65. This will be the price that the customer has to pay. So lastly, it's asking us, what is Charlie Sports profit in order in other words, how much, what is the actual markup? We know the markup rate is 35%, but what is that um, in a dollar amount, right? What is the actual amount of the price from it? So there's a few ways to do it, but since we've already done some calculations here, we can just take the price that the customers pay, right, and subtract that from the wholesale price that Charlie Sports has to pay. And that'll tell us what our markup is. So go ahead and do those calculations, and then let's check back to make sure we agree. That's right. If we take that $106.65 that the customers end up having to pay after the market rate, subtracting the $79 that is the wholesale price, Charlie Sports is marking up those shoes $27.65. That would be their profit on that pair of shoes. Let's try our second problem. For our second problem, we're looking at a plant nursery where Nancy's plant nursery is having a sale on plants where everything is marked down 15%. If you purchase the plants on your credit card, you can take an additional 5% off. Christina picks out a tree that is originally priced at $98. So take a look here at what they want us to calculate. We're being asked, what, how much is the plant with just the 15% discount? And we've done, I've done some setup here for you. So let's see if we can figure this out on our triangle. So it's originally a price at $98. That is going to be the whole amount at which we're calculating any discount from. So it would make sense to fill that into our section here on the section for whole. So it's $98 with a discount, right? The percent. Well, we know to fill that in right here. So that's 15%. But that's a markdown or a discount. So we need to figure out, we need to be able to take that away from the 100% if it wasn't on sale, we'd be paying 100% of the price, which would be 98 but instead we're getting a 15% discount. So we're taking 100 minus 15. And what do we get when we subtract that? That's right, 85%. But of course in our calculations, we're going to use it in its decimal form. So with this information, Go ahead and see if you can follow the format here. We've already done this work already in our triangle. See if you can figure out what is the price that Christina would pay with the 15% discount. And then let's check back. That's right. It's pretty straightforward. The $98, the whole original price, times the 85% as a decimal because it was 100% minus the 15% discount. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to calculate this out.
feel free to grab a calculator to do so. Once we calculate 98 times 85 percent or 85 hundredths, we get that the sale price would be $83.30. So for our final problem, we want you to see if you can figure out if she then uses her credit card to get the additional 5% discount, what will she pay for the plant? So I've already kind of given you some hints here in the setup. So go ahead and see if you can do the rest of the work to find her final price if she chooses to use her credit card. And when I'm checking notes, I'll check to see that we agree. So that's going to conclude our video for today. I can't wait to see how you did.